Hello friends, welcome to BISPTrainings.com. My name is Sumit and in this video I am going to explain how to set up Jenkins on Linux operating system. So here I am using Ubuntu Linux operating system and I would like to set up Jenkins onto that. So let's have a look how to do that. So that's my Linux operating system. And the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to load the terminal for setting up Linux uh, Jenkins on Linux. So I open terminal and in terminal I pass a command sudo apt get update. So this will basically for installing all the remaining updates. So this will if any new updates will be there so it will download and install all those updates so all the required updates has been done successfully after that I'm going to pass a command to set up GIT GIT basically it's a set of plugin which is mandatory for setting up Jenkins on an operating system so I pass command sudo apt get install git so if you have already passed the command earlier it will quickly re rebuild the package it will quickly up upgrade if any upgradation is required it will update it else it will simply give a message that the git is already the newest version as you can see here i'm getting git is already the newest version because i have already configured i have already set up install git plugins onto my linux operating system now next to set up Jenkins we need to have a web server installed on our system either Apache or Xinx. So in this scenario in my case I am going to uh, set up Xinx web server. So for that I pass command sudo apt get install x and Jinx. So that's this will be the web server which I'm going to use for working on Jenkins. So if you are installing it first time, again it will take some time to set up Nginx on system. Whereas because I have already configured, I have already installed the web server so I got a message that is already the newest version so you do not need to set up again you, you it will not take time to set up the engines on this operating system now to test whether the web server is working successfully or not so I pass a command service engines and status so as you can see here the current status is active so it's running right now it means my server is successfully running now to set up Jenkins we required few commands so we can visit a web and copy paste the commands from there we can write down the command by ourselves as well but just to save the time we can visit a URL and by from that URL we can copy paste the command into our terminal and that will save our time so for that I click on browser open browser and here I pass a command install Jenkins Ubuntu and click on this link wiki.jenkinsci.org slash display slash Jenkins installing plus Jenkins plus on plus Ubuntu that's the URL now in this URL you see I'm getting four messages are coming so the I will be going to execute these four messages one by one and then it will successfully set up Gen Jenkins on my Linux operating system. So the first command I copy this command from here this is for adding the key and the source list to the app for Jenkins. So I copy this command and minimize it and here paste it and enter. I got a message here okay 
so it has been added successfully you will simply get this message now next the second command so this is basic basically for the source list to configure the source list to copy and terminal and i paste it on terminal and enter so it's successfully done it will not show any message and all it's done now now third is for getting updates if any updates are required so again i pass this message paste it update so if any updates are required it will download the updates one by one and it will install the updates it will configure the updates with the existing solution and finally i will be going to pass a command to set up jenkins so to set up jenkins the command is sudo apt get install jenkins and enter so i got a message that it should be requiring after this operation 69.2 mb of additional disk may be required so i press yes and it will start configuring jenkins on my system so it will be setting up jenkins setting up daemon processing triggers and so on so it will take some time and the jenkins has been configured successfully because all the libraries i have already downloaded so i do not need to download them again so the libraries which are required for setting up jenkins or the plugins which are required for setting up jenkins they are already stored in my repository so that's why it did not download again but in your case if you are installing it first time then it may take some time so now you see the jenkins has already been installed so, so by default the jenkins installed on 8080 port now to check the status of the jenkins service i pass a command here service jenkins status and you can see i got a message active it means the jenkins server has successfully updated so it's working perfectly fine so then the jenkins server has been up now to run jenkins because for this we will requiring a web browser because it would be going to work on a, as a web application so i click on web browser and as i've told you the default port is 8080 so i pass a command 127.0.0.1 colon 8080 and it will connect to the local host for the web server which we have for the nginx server which we have all web server which we have already installed or configured earlier so i pass this message and pass this command and url and enter and you see i'm getting a message jenkins here so now you can see here after i pass this message service jenkins status it shows that the jenkins has successfully installed and the service has been activated now i would like to run jenkins and to run jenkins i open my browser and in browser i pass a command 127 that's the url 0.0.1 colon 8080 8080, 8080 is the default port for jenkins to be installed when i press enter it will take some time and it will throw a message that the jenkins is logged right now we need to unlock it and says to ensure jenkins is securely set up by the administrator a password has written been written to the log and this file on the server so the password has been written on a file and i need to provide the password here i do i need to uh, i need to provide my password so what's the password and how do we get the password how do we get the default password for this particular jenkins right now and after that once we logged in successfully we would be able to create new user we would be able to create new user and register a password so to get the password i open a new terminal and in this terminal i pass a message command sudo cat and copy this link copy this and paste it here and when i press enter it will ask for a password and that's the default password for this registration so i copy this password from here and paste here 
and now we would be able to log in into Jenkins so I click on continue I'll say update and let's wait for a few seconds and it will give us an interface it will show us an interface so you can see I got a new interface it says custom Jenkins and the plugins are required for to support many different needs so either we can select the plugins manually which will be suitable as per our need or I would like to Jenkins to be set up the plugins automatically for the most which the plugins which are most useful so I'm, I'll go with the first option I click on install suggested plugins and now the Jenkins will start downloading and install the following plugins which is required for working on it so it may take some time and once all of them becomes green uh, then it it means that we have successfully set up the Jenkins and after that it will show us the welcome screen so all these are various plugins which are required for uh, working on Jenkins so it will download and set up automatically by itself that's why for setting up Jenkins for setting Jenkins uh, internet is very much required so you should have a net connection you would be you should be connected with internet while setting up Jenkins on your operating system so now when all the plugins has been installed successfully the required plugins has been installed successfully now it is required to create the first admin user so I'm going to create my first admin user named as BISP solutions and the password so either we can keep the same password or I'll change the password so I say I change the password as I change my password BISP one two three four five BISP one two three four five full name BISP solutions and email address I provide my mail ID and now there are two options either we can click on continue as admin or we can click on save and finish so I click on save and finish and I got a message the Jenkins is ready and the Jenkins setup is complete so we can start using Jenkins so I click on this button start using Jenkins and now we are on the interface for where we can have the various options and we can manage our Jenkins interface for example I'm getting option here build history so if I can click on build history I would be able to know the build history people the users the include users new item we can create a new item we can create projects and external jobs or folders by going into uh, new items credentials can be checked from here the credentials also we have got the if I get back to my home page there is an option here welcome to Jenkins create new jobs to get start and now while clicking on this we would be able to create new jobs along with this apart from this we have one option here named as manage Jenkins and if I click on manage Jenkins I would be able to manage my Jenkins system so from from here I would be able to manage the configure system there's an option manage plugins so I click on manage plugins and we can remove or update the existing plugins as required so manage Jenkins and uh, configure global security configure credentials reload configuration from this system logs script console about Jenkins so from by going into this we can find out the information about Jenkins so these are the various information like what's uh, what's the version we are using so we are working on Jenkins 2.7.2 version and uh, we have manage nodes manage users so by going into manage users we have an option VSP that's the default user if I want to create a new user I can click on create user I can set up a new user from here and I can let other users also to access my Jenkins interface so that's all in this video and uh, in this video I explain how to set up Jenkins on Ubuntu operating system I hope 
you found this video interesting if that's so don't forget to press the like button you can subscribe our youtube channel for more information more videos on jenkins and devops operations keep watching have a nice day goodbye